I'm a drinker, I'm a smoker, I'm a loser, I'm a sinner. Yeah, I'm a walker, I'm a stalker, I'm a thief, I'm a liar. Dolan has got a very, very interesting story because it wasn't really intended to be a record. It was just a mashup. I had this vocal that Dan Diamond had sent me, which I thought was really good. I thought, well, I'll just try putting it over a, a, a track and see how it sounds. So I found this Luca Guerrieri track called um, Only You, and it sounded really good over that. So it was kind of a mashup that became a record. That's the only way I really make new stuff these days. I don't ever go and go into the studio and go, I'm going to write a new tune, because I kind of figure those days are over for me. So what happens is I go in the studio and I make mashups to play in my DJing sets and then some of them evolve into singles. I haven't got the arrogance to make something and go to a record company and go, put this out, this is brilliant. So what I do is I just try it out in my sets. I let the crowd do the A&R for me because I don't trust my ears at my age. For the last year, I've been singing it to the crowd, especially some certain lines. And you have kids like with their parents in the front row and I sing the line about I'm a pervert and a peeping Tom through a hole I watch your mum to the kid. <laughs> uh, which takes me, it gives me great delight. I'm a pervert and a peeping Tom through a hole I watch your mom. I like sex lines, porno shops, smoking weed and quitting jobs. Limousine, cigarette, fast cars and silicone lips. The visuals for Role Models, originally it was the fat kid off the album. A lot of the visuals, they start with me just messing around with a stupid idea and if people like it then we develop it. There's a, a filter I've got on my phone called Avatar. So I put the fat kid in and then I put my face in and made him say the words. And I kind of like that and it worked. We kind of like the idea of other people saying it. And then in the meantime, there was this guy called DX who, who had been sending me AI stuff. So he went off and did it and um, just gave us a shopping list of role models that we could put into it. We weren't actually sure about the legalities of, of AI uh, about the same as when sampling first came out. It's like you never knew what you could get away with or what was morally or legally rehensible. What I do like is that uh, everyone around me went, oh, well, let's just put it out and, and if anyone complains, we can just take them out and interchange them with someone else. Quite bizarrely, the only reaction we've had was from Simon Pegg, who <laughs> sent me a text going, I can't believe you put me in your video, that's brilliant. I mean, obviously we're not trying to make money out of other people's images and the, all the people in the thing are my heroes. So I think I'm sure I could explain to them that I wasn't trying to rip them off or distort them. It r does remind me a little bit of when I used to make records with samples and, and we couldn't afford to clear all of them, so we just cleared some of them. It was quite fun seeing what you could get away with. And AI, I think, is at that Wild West stage now. I'm a drinker, I'm a smoker, I'm